Having covered the Zynga IPO, uh, we know that it wasn't smooth sailing. Is Rovio going to have any better luck? Uh, the fear is that uh, Rovio repeats what Zynga did and not really have uh, a next thing. So Rovio might as well just be called Angry Birds because that's what it's betting <laughs> all of its revenue on. And you have to remember Angry Birds came out, what, seven years ago? So uh, Rovio needs to kind of show uh, that it can find some growth after uh, this new strategy that it's implemented in the past couple of years of massive cost cuts uh, kind of comes to fruition. You've seen the financials start to improve. Uh, they, you can see in the documents in the last quarter, they reported 94% revenue growth to 86 million euros. Uh, that's uh, following another uh, quarter of growth. So revenue is growing. It seems like things are working. And frankly, a lot of that has to do uh, with their selling strategy that they've shifted into more... Uh, getting users to pay in app instead of getting them to pay when they download these games. So talk to us about what we know about the financials. How is the company itself doing? So they are improving. Um, like I said, 86 million euros in revenue in the last quarter. That's about 101 million US dollars. So they are improving. They've When they came out the gate with uh, Angry Birds, they followed it up with Angry Birds 2 back in 2010. So it's been a while um, since we've seen new things from them. The You did see uh, the Angry Birds movie uh, come out. That banked about $350 million in box offices. They have Angry Birds 2 coming out in 2019. But if you think about it, there's a bit of a gap there for hits. They have their old legacy games. They have kind of some of their recent introductory games that they have put out in mobile apps um, that aren't necessarily doing as well. And then they have this movie in 2019. So for the next couple of years here, um, you need to see them uh, pushing the strategy of getting users to pay up in app. Um, Bloomberg talked to some of their executives uh, earlier this month who said, look, this has been working for us. And they reminded the public that sometimes these games take a few years to catch on. Their exec said uh, three years is the typical uh, kind of high point of success for some of these games. So it's going to be uh, whether or not this Angry Birds franchise can continue uh, to find growth either in the mobile gaming world or some of these ancillary uh, products like their movies.